it's got a really bad back and I'm trying to do uh, trying to do stretching how you how do you stretch how do you stretch your back or a, a video of a guy who was like laying on a wall and he's like my elbow just clicked and I saw something it's like my lower back it's like my coccyx because I'm just really overweight and my sciatic nerve went years ago and it started to come back but my lower back's getting a bit tingly wingly I don't like it I just realised that the fingers on a lot of the Lego statue sets, like the figure sets, sorry, they look like bananas. I don't know if they just made bananas for the fingers. And that might be the case. Hello, visuals, and welcome back to another edition of the Visual Guys Canoozy News. If my girlfriend's watching this right now, she's going to be raging. She hates when I wear the hat like this. Oh, but I'm, a, I'm an absolute G. No, I'm not. I'm a chef. Ah, all right, though, all of you England fans. I know it sounds a bit stupid, me being like, hey, all of you England fans. Me being of an English person. Final didn't go your way, did it? It's coming up. No, it's not. It's gone to Spain. I really don't care. I just want the proper football to start. I want fucking way, way to an army. We've already been through all this. There would have been a lot of disappointed, disappointed faces though last week of you. Oh, no, I've spent loads of money. I could not watch it. I don't know why, because international football's boring as fuck. Hey ho, as you do, carry on. But anyway, apart from that, have you had a lovely week though? We're going to go into a nerd. It's time. It's time for another nanny. For another nanny. I've had quite a few nerdy shenanigans that, uh, that have happened and some uh, great, great epicness. What's happened? And what? And what? Whatever else has happened. I hear a vehicle slowing down. I am currently at the time of recording, waiting for a bike wheel. Once again, too fat. What? Well, it's not too fat. I didn't break my bike wheel this time because it's too fat. Apparently, the wheels on a bike have a clutch. I thought like clutches were cars, like you know, accelerate, brake, or brake accelerate, whichever one it is, and clutch. And you have to like do that, don't you? And with your feet. And I, apparently, bike wheels have clutches, and mine's just gone. The clutch has gone on my bike. Somebody was talking bullshit when they said this. And fucking, I was nearly going to get charged for it as well. I ain't got money to pay. It's just because uh, uh, I've just put new batteries in the lights. But uh, someone's looking fit. Someone's looking bloody apart from my... I, I angered a spot on the side of my head. I hope that goes before my girlfriend sees it. Because as soon as I get in the house, she'll be like... Ugh! What is it with girls and popping spots? Freaks. Girls... There was a reason why boys were like, no girls allowed, you know, in the room when they all had the sign, like, this is a boys' room, no girls allowed. We sat there and she would notice some sort of little fucking blackhead or a whitehead coming up and she'd be like, oh, I need, I need to pop. I need to pop. Can I play? And because, like, the idea of, like, I don't mind popping my own, like, my own zits, brah, like, you know, giving them a fucking squeeze or whatever, but doing it to somebody else is fucking disgusting. But girls were like, no, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> This isn't just a sing this isn't just a damn girlfriend issue. This is a worldwide epidemic. Like girls be like, oh my god, I'm such a spider, it's gross. Oh my god, no, it's dirty, it's gross. Uh but as soon as they see a pussy horrible ming and boil, they're like, oh my god, let me slice open and see the juice. Uh, and if I do pop any of my own spots that go around, she's like, I like and like you know, there's a little, little bit of a scar left. She's like, oh God, why haven't you pop any more? You're so fucking shit. And I have to apologize. <laughs> Girl, girlfriend rant section of the video over. Uh, apart from that though, she's adorable. I love her. She's a cute little princess. She just likes pus. More about me being disgusting, being a 31 year old man and still going through what seems to be a fucking acne problem. Acne! Yeah, but like I said, it is the nerd news and we have some great shenanigans to wear. Uh... I may have felt another spot. Oh no, it's a scab. We can rest easy. Cause, cause quickly before we carry on off this rant, when boys do it, it's nice and just psh, girls have got fucking nails. They dig in, they stab you, and then psh, fucking get the claws away. It is an edition of the Good Virtual Guys Nerd News. We have some awesome, awesome things to come up for us, lovely nerds. Well, to be fair as well, just normal people can enjoy most of this stuff. You don't have to be seriously weird and autistic like moi. Like the Lego, if you like the. Marvel, if you like the toot toot, I, I I always have to bring in Newcastle for whatever reason. Uh, for 
Nerd news. Even though there will be like Newcastle, like not just Newcastle, but like football nerds out there, you know, like who who played an offside uh, pass in the 1947 uh, FA Cup semi final, and there'll be people out there that can answer that because I wouldn't have a fucking clue. Really, really attracted to my thighs lately. Uh, I've got a bruise though on that one. Um, I don't know if it's because I recently watched. Well, I say recently, two weeks ago now, a week ago now. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Long legs, and I don't know if there's uh, if there's de if the if the demon if the devil Satan uh, out to get me and out to fuck me up. I've been replaying that clip. I f one of my favourite bits of that film. Spoiler alert: If you haven't watched it already, if you have watched it, let me know what you think because I fucking adored it. Um, when 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 Nick Nick's long legs is driving in the car after being at the shop, and he's like, "Mama." Daddy! And then what does he say? Uh, Save me from the hell that is living or some shit like that. It is like. What's just happened to you? This is weird as fuck. And speaking of girlfriend, I am trying my absolute hardest to get her to watch some snippets and some clips of the film, but she's like, no thank you, I'm staying well away. It's not what we're here to talk about. We're not here to talk about long legs. Uh, yeah, but my thighs, though, my thighs have been very attractive to me lately. I don't know if it's because they're extra, like, proper meaty looks like meat's back in the menu, boys, or if it's just, I'm a boy with good legs. It could be, it could be, a, it could be a number of things. Are we ready to talk canoesy news and uh, ratatouille? Uh, rat, make a ratatouille. Do they have it backwards? No, they have it forwards, don't they? You're an idiot sandwich. It's just a wearing beanie hats when I'm sat doing the videos because they get really hot. Flame on. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, but if I'm Johnny Storm and my sister Sue Storm, I'm. Potentially commit an incest. Randomly say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, story and number one. We have an announcement of the newest TCG expansion. Now it's not going to be. We will get to the uh, the other one later, but it's not. Um, Shrouded Fable, it's actually the newest main series set that is out on the 13th of September of 2024 and it's called Stellar Crown. Now this is all going to feature uh, all of like, uh, you know, the Terra Poga shenanigans, the uh, Stella, Stella Terra uh, phenomenon, you know, all the, the ones that can have like the multiple Stella Terra type and all that kind of shit. There's going to be 170 plus cards, that be the, the main set will be 170, uh, but obviously it will go probably to like... 240-ish or maybe 230 with all the secrets and the artworks and all that kind of carry on so you just probably expect to be about 250 or whatnot but so far the set looks great there's one etb um i still think that we're not doing build a battle stadiums no one's correcting me in the comments but i can't find build a battle stadiums for the last few sets anyway <laughs> Um, so yeah the, the the artwork and the box work and the, who's on the packets i know we've got lapras galvantula uh obviously terra Pogusta. And who was the fourth? There was a fourth, and I think it's like a random Pokemon, like a Torkoal or some shit. Can't remember. Hopefully, there's a picture on screen for you somewhere, anyhow. But it's going to be an awesome set. It's going to be a fun set. It's going to be another set where I'm like, take my money. Not that I have any. Do I have. I can do an IOU, or. If, if there was a person out there that wanted to sell Pokemon cards for sexual favor, favors, I would whore myself. With girlfriend's permission, of course. I don't think it would only have to be a boy. I don't think if it was a girl, she'd be like, no fucking chance. But I've said, can I take a dick for the pack of cards? She would say, go on then. <laughs> this one's just one of them sort of roundups. I figured we would do this on the Nerd News because obviously on the Nerd News, uh, we, we usually, we don't, well, we don't break the news, but we, we give out the news that there are new Lego sets on the way. And as of, what, so when when's this video going to be out? Like the... <sighs> it's going to be like the 18th or the 17th or some shit like that. In about two or so weeks, the next wave of the Marvel Infinity Saga Lego sets will be out. We're talking the Milano, the Groot, the Iron Legion stuff, uh, the uh, Age of Ultron Battle, the Helicarrier, which didn't actually get broke. That that news didn't break when the first sort of coming out. It's kind of just sort of wiggled its way and it went, oh, here's a mini Helicarrier as well. Another doing that with all the Star Wars shenanigans. And there's another set that I'm missing, isn't there? The other Serta uh, 4 set, and a few more of us. I think you're going to talk about 300 ish to, to buy all of it. I think maybe the most expensive sets being obviously the Milano sitting at like 160 ish. Uh, the Age of Ultron set, I think, is about 90 or 100. 
the Heli carries about 70, Surtur's 20, the Iron Legion pack's probably going to be about 20, uh, Groot's 30, uh, the Leviathan uh, New York battle, I think that's about 40 odd quid. So it's going to be a couple of quid, I, I definitely will not be able to afford it in the Wanna. Uh, I'm luckily, uh, there's somebody lovely and close to me, not girlfriend this time, that's buying me, buying me the Milano, so I feel very blessed that I can get the Milano, so fuck knows when I'm going to get it though. But they're all almost out, so just prepare yourself because we also do have uh, some other expenses that need to try and find money for on the same fucking weekend. Other expensive being Shrouded, Shrouded Fable, Shrouded Fable being out on the second, the Friday. Yeah, because the, the, the sets out on the first, that's coming out the second, which is the first wave of that. Them stuff's going to be 150 odd, so. Oh, geez, kill me now. Fuck's sake, OnlyFans will be uploaded by the weekend, trust me. Well, it is the weekend, isn't it? You want to see damn tip? It's going to cost you. We'll make it a solid 500. Done. Not a problem. Let me know in the comments below how much for damn tip. <laughs> Now on the 18th of the 9th, I'm assuming you saw the trailer of this year, of course. It is Agatha all along. Uh, it's going to be nine episodes, obviously coming straight to Disney+. Plus. The trailer is officially out, come out like last week or the week before, alongside the, well not alongside, but we also had the Captain America New World Order trailer, uh, New World Order trailer. Um, but I feel like uh, I've, I've made Agatha, um, the, it was Agatha all, all along. Uh, I've, we're going to make that the main news topic because I think there's a lot more to try and digest at the minute because, uh, one, we've got a little bit more with a, with a slightly longer trailer and Captain America, me and Chris have been discussing the pods. But I wanted to bring this one up more than Captain America because I was like, do we need an Agatha show? I mean, it might be fine. We'll see it. But I saw this trailer and I am so frigging down for it. I know it's not going to be quite Halloween because it's coming out in September, but we're going to be close enough to Halloween. It's going to be a nice little darky-ish kind of nights, chill vibe kind of watch along. I don't think they'll be dropping all nine. I think typical uh, Disney fashion, it'll be one after another. Or we might get maybe a couple to start us off with. I don't know. Um, but to find out her story, uh, what happened to her after Wanda kept her trapped in and stuff, we see the dead, potential dead body of Wanda Maximoff. And you think, okay, what's happened here? We see a bit more of a horror side, a bit more of a scary side, a bit more of a uh, paranormal uh, possession, demon-y sort of bleh, kind of shenanigans going on. So I'm so, so intrigued for it. It's definitely piqued interest. Because like I said, when I first heard about it, I thought, of course, I'm going to watch it. I'm an absolute mark. Um, but I don't know how epic it's going to be. I've watched a trailer and I'm thinking... Yeah, this actually might be quite fun. This might be my cup of tea. I love Demony. Well, I don't love it. It freaks me out. I hate it. But at the same time, I force myself to watch it. Uh, and I'm very much looking forward to it. But we have that. And then, of course, like I said, with more great, greater detail on the podcast, me and Chris last weekend have spoke about the New World Order trailer. Uh, so there we go. Visuals. Agatha all along. 18th for the 9th. It's some Funko Pop news now. Now, some of these uh, you probably already have known about or that have been revealed. I don't actually have uh, exact dates for all these. It doesn't specifically say. I'm pretty sure the Batman 85th anniversary stuff is out, but we'll, we'll, we'll just go through it all quickly. So, new Funko Pop news. The, the, the wave of Deadpool and Wolverine stuff is coming out. We've got the likes of um, Headpool, uh, Kidpool, Babypool, Dogpool, Wolverine being featured with Babypool. And I think this is Wolverine with kid well yeah it's with with kid pool and i think baby pool then we've got deadpool he's with head pool uh dog pulls on its own i think i'm very certain because so far the ones that are only out of the are the bog standard deadpool and the bog standard wolverine for the film uh they don't announce any of these other parts of the set on the back of their box it's just those two uh, and as well i think this will be the first funkos we've ever had from the official deadpool films haven't we they didn't release really release much merch would it what would it be in uh the age rating and shit like that. i could be wrong but i don't i don't think there has been so i'm very much looking forward to them but not only that we have the um the Gen 1, Optimus, and Megatron. You can get them in a double pack. I, I've seen them on Get Ready Comics. I will be getting them, but I haven't got them yet. Again, broke-ass bitch. Lego, Pokemon cards coming up. What the fuck can I do with, with, with money? Uh, we have uh, the Marvel Knights Daredevil combo cover, which looks phenomenal. Uh, the Batman 85th anniversary stuff, like I said. The L-O-R-T... The L-O-T-R shit. Why am I saying it like that? The Lord of the Rings shenanigans with Legolas. Uh, Bilbo, I think it is, at Bag End. Uh, Treebeard was one of them, a cave troll. The Mouth of Sauron. I feel like I'm missing something there, but I don't know. Hopefully there's pictures up somewhere. Um, and of course, want to sit on top of it, and I cannot wait for this one, amongst the other ones, but Ghostface. Ha ha uh, Halloween. Um... For Scream being one of my favorite. Oh, fuck me. I was trying to say it's one of my favorites. I can't even fucking say it. Scream being one of my favorite films of all time in, the, in a franchise and a genre that I absolutely adore. Ghostface being one of my favorite 
characters from that sort of world uh being one of my favorites I, I cannot wait for this there's a jumbo version i think the, the there's, there's a normal and there's a glow in the dark i definitely definitely want the jumbo the ghost face look is one of the most amazing looks ever i, I really want it tattooed but i don't know where i'm getting it and i've spoke to me pal uh to, to try and tattoo us up with something but Fuck knows when I'm going to get it. But yes, a lot of Funko Pops come in to save at your pennies. I don't know if you're going to go straight for everything there. I think out of all of them, I think it'll be Deadpool and Wolverine stuff first, then Ghostface, and then I'll try. Because my Lord of Rings Funko Pop collection isn't massive. Um, I think when they first started recently, I wasn't actually massive into Funko, I think, if I remember correctly. I, I do, obviously, we've got the likes of Gandalf chilling over there. We've got a couple more downstairs. We've got Boromir and that downstairs. Frodo's kicking about somewhere. So we do have a handful, but because we've started this set properly i want to finish the deadpool and wolverine stuff and then i would definitely want to get a version or variation of ghostface last but not least like i said um i think because trust me it is six stories the shrouded fable one was a story which is really quick saying yeah it's out soon time with the lego it's gonna cost it. anyway our final story is always newcastle news well it isn't always but it is this time uh, and it's of course the seller cup returns the weekend before the premier league officially starts i think that same weekend uh, the the lower leagues will have started championship and league one and all that kind of carry on because they're doing their preseason stuff now. But the seller cup is back, I think as well. If I look properly, um, it's only going to be twenty quid for an adult ticket, which is fine. Uh, absolutely bang on price. And there's a, quite a few matches being played over the weekend of the uh, what have I written down that I should know because I'm fucking going the ninth and the tenth. You can see uh, teams like Genoa Rock Cup, uh, Stead Brewster, a French team. Uh, it's all people associated with Seller and stuff, of course. The NUFC women are going to be playing so. Some, well, do you know we're a big foreign team? I don't know much about Stead, but I know they're French and that's about it. So you get to see the women, you get to see the men's team. 20 quid, you can go on both days and whatnot. I don't know if it'll be a sellout just because it's like a pre-season tournament. It's not going to be as intense and hustle and bustle and nitty-gritty. Uh, Newcastle did win the Seller Cup last year, but it's not really a trophy to brag about. It's just like an in-house little, okay, woo, now let's crack on with the season. Um, but I will be going anyway. I'll probably be going on the 10th. I won't be able to do both days. The 9th being a Friday anyway, so I'll be going the 10th um our tickets are on sale now anyway so i've already got mine done dusted so you will be able to go watch it but yeah newcastle back with the seller cup a week before the season starts and i cannot fucking wait to see my boys in black and white and girlies in black and white and hopefully just watch a proper football because I couldn't give a shit about international. I'm so happy the Euros are done. There we go, visuals. That was this week's Canoozy news. Uh, but before we go, we've got to do the housekeeping. The t in fact, we better tick it off, actually. I always like to tick off on the list about which ones we've done. Be like, okay, we've done you, done you, just because uh, uh, me, me is like easily confused. <laughs> Fucking great. This week's weird and wonderful and beautiful sports, however, we've got uh, one of the most bizarre sort of falls ever and a genuine dance, what the fuck has just happened, you may have just knocked out your girlfriend or sister or whatever the fuck she is to you, uh, shenanigans, just by uh, a little dance. It's the sports, but it's not really the sports because we don't actually talk about sports. I used to do sports, but then I got really fat. So for the sports, I don't know if this is like a total wipeout sort of scenario we've got going on here. I don't know what the fuck's going on. But we have a, a, a lovely woman just doing a thing, contesting this thing. And she falls like she's like she's a, 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 a C. She fucking, she barely goes down. And I don't know if it will, but it looks like she's fallen that kind of material that does have the potential to burn. It's going, going to be, she's going down with some speed. But that might be fall of the year. She, she I mean, she, she made it look as graceful as she could. But it's so unique because she gets trapped and she's, see you later. Oh, it's beautiful. Time for the weather, where I'm not going to tell you anything about the weather. If you do need to know that, just look outside your window. Don't know if this is some new TikTok meme. Don't know if this is some new, uh, that one they did with Drake with the door open. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. They're doing a dance. But unfortunately, poor girly uh, on the right of him, whichever way it is, they're doing the thing and she, she nearly gets uh, sparked out. Who would have thought that uh, dancing has now become a violent sport where it's like you have to maybe sign a waiver and say, well, you want to dance near me? There may be harm caused and I can't be liable for it. I need you to sign a waiver just for having a little bop. There we go, that was the sports and weather. But before we go, we've given you the great nerd news. We've given you the sports and weather. We need to give you Dan's happy ending, where it turns out they're banana peel shenanigans. It wasn't a joke. Mario Kart didn't use it as a piss take to be like, oh, slipped on a banana peel. It's the genuine, genuine shit. This girl has a banana phone. Ring, 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 banana phone. Do you remember that? If you know, you know. And then, uh, yeah, sh she may or may not be dead. Hopefully not. Oh, look, look, it's, it's that fat lad. It's Dan. Ugly down and he's really, really fat.
see it on some sort of uh, proper businessy sort of you know high profile conversation who ha do da ba 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 doing a thing crack on and then she launch boom done slips it's legit. Well, again, there seems to be an actual banana still in there. So I don't know if it's the banana bit or the banana skin that's actually made her. Which, what do you? But either way, whatever said from that phone has caused her to chuck her phone, which was also a banana. And she... Boo! Poor girl. And, uh, there we go, visuals. That was this week's Ken Newsy News. If you did enjoy, please, we'll boost it and new skin. Remember, go over to Spotify, type in Dan's Talking Crap, and listen to my supposed to be weekly, but the, as it stands, it's been like two weekly uh, podcast of me just talking crap. With a little follow over there. And visuals, hopefully you can have an amazing weekend. Hopefully you're looking forward to the Lego sets that are coming out, or the Funkos, or the Pokemon cards, or watching Agatha, and seeing the tune, maybe, whatever it is uh, yeah, maybe you're looking forward to. Hopefully something on there a uh, tickled your pickle. More importantly, visuals, thank you so much for watching. You guys are literally the fucking best. We'll always keep being you, and keep on uh, keeping on. Mm -hmm.